This video is brought to you by GoPlay. GoPlay is the software if you want to record your games in 4K or 60fps, edit your videos and publish it straight on to YouTube. For more information, check out the link in the description. What is going on guys? My name is Alex. Welcome back to a brand new video and in this video I just wanted to you know take a time to uh, talk about economy. I really think that the euro is... <laughs> No, I'm kidding guys. Welcome back to a new video. In this video, we're going to talk about keeping the same quality on your video. It doesn't matter when you import it to exporting it. The quality needs to be the same or even better than you when you actually imported it. So let's say that you film the video in 1080 FPS, but the video comes out really badly. That can be caused by a lot of things. There's the wrong render setting, a few things that you're doing wrong while editing. So in this video, I'm going to obviously show you guys how to keep the quality, get it even better. So when you're ready to export it, you will just keep the quality and when it's finished rendering and you want to publish it onto YouTube, you will even get a better quality than before. Oh, and before this video starts, guys, I'm looking for a brand new camera. I've been using the Canon G7X that I'm using right now almost for three years. 2019 is coming up, so I thought, okay, I just want to keep improving, you know, better quality, better videos, and I just want to have a better camera. So if you have any suggestions for a camera, doesn't matter which one it is, at least filming in 60 FPS, that's the only requirement I have for the camera. Make sure to drop it down in the comments down below. And I would say, make sure to smash the like button down below subscribe if you're new and I'll catch you guys obviously right after the intro guys so now that we are in vegas pro 16 as you can see this is the intro that i filmed and what we're gonna do is we're gonna go from start to finish to keep the quality and make it even better everything like that so the first thing that you want to do is when you finished filming a video uh, you just want to go ahead and place the sd card into your pc or laptop you guys know how that works but then the second thing comes up and you know in order to be safe on every single field what you want to do you just want to go ahead and create a new folder onto your computer and then you want to for example call that video and then you want to first drag in the files from the SD card onto that folder and not necessarily the files from the SD card straight into Vegas Pro because if you for example thought like okay I need to film a few extra more shots if you didn't place your footage onto your computer first if you take out the SD card out of your laptop it will actually delete the clip out of your Vegas project so what you want to do is first import all the footage from your SD card onto your computer so once that is done, you want to make sure that you will just import your footage by hitting file. And then you want to click on import. That button isn't there for nothing because obviously 90% of the people that use Vegas or you know basically any other software, they just drag the footage from the folder into their software. But what you can do and also to prevent crashes while importing, especially when it's really heavy footage, what you can do is just hit import. And then you just want to basically select the video that you want to go ahead and import like that. Okay, the second step is once the video is into your timeline what you want to do is always especially for gaming videos but just for other content as well you want to right click on the entire clip hit properties at the bottom and you want to check disable resample it's going to make your video look a lot smoother if you have for example certain footage such as iphone quality or just footage with like you know that's a rectangle and that doesn't fill up the entire screen you don't want to necessarily uncheck maintain aspect ratio because that's going to stretch the entire video and that's maybe something you don't want so just go ahead and disable Disable the resample, but the maintain aspect ratio is just basically optional. Okay, so the next thing that you want to do then is to get a little bit more better quality is, as you can see, the footage is looks just very, it needs to come alive a little bit more. So what we're going to do is when you hit video effects and you want to scroll down until you see the brightness and contrast, which is this one. And then you want to basically go ahead and drag on the default onto the clip. And then you just want to mess around a little bit more with the contrast, but just make it a little bit, you know, make the colors pop out a little bit more. So if you go ahead and drag the contrast a little bit to the right is you notice how the footage actually gets like a little you know better contrast instead of just you know going from this looking like not really that special to kind of you know spiced up with some most importantly contrast the brightness you can also adjust that if it's too dark or too light anything i'm just going to keep that one on zero but that's basically what you can do bring in a little bit more contrast if we repeat all these steps for all the footage that we have for example like 10 clips for all clips you just want to go ahead and disable the reset 
example and you know add in a little bit more brightness and contrast to it what you want to do then is go ahead and edit your video add in the sound effects the music that you that you need for your video to spice it up and then it is time to render the video so that's what we're going to do so we're going to go ahead and select everything that we want to go ahead and render out i'm just going to for example leave it at that then we're going to go ahead and make sure that we will hit this icon first the project video properties so if we hit that you want to make sure that the template that you have selected right here is matching your render settings so let's say that your video comes out really really bad what you want to do is you want to pick the pixel aspect ratio to square like that at the bottom right here it says resample mode you want to put that one to disable resample and then it's really important the full resolution rendering quality you want to put that one to best that's going to make a lot of difference and the motion blur type is going to be gaussian and the deinterlaced method is going to be bland fields and if you don't want to do this you know process all over again just go ahead and create a template just give this a name for example render match template for example like that so then we're going to go ahead and hit this diskette icon that's going to save it then you want to click on apply click on ok and now you want to go ahead and hit file you want to go ahead and click render as and then you want to basically you know select the template that you want to use i'm just using sony avc slash mvc and then i'm just going to have my standard 60 fps template so i'm just going to go ahead and start from scratch so we're going to pick internet 1920 by 1080 30p but what's really important guys if you have filmed the video in 720 p you just want to render it out in 720p because rendering it out in a higher resolution than you filmed it is not going to make the video bad if you film the video in 480p and the quality isn't that great don't think that you know the quality will be better when you render it out in 1080p because that's just not the case you want to match your render settings with the settings that you filmed it so if you filmed it in 480p you got to obviously render it out in 480p but this clip that we're you know, using as an example today is filmed with a camera with 1080p 60 the FPS so that's what we're gonna obviously do so go ahead and hit the internet 1920 by 1080 click customize template and then you want to go ahead and adjust the settings the frame size is obviously 1920 by 1080 that's something we don't have to adjust but the frame ratio you want to put that one you want to just fill in 60 and obviously it can jump to 59 point you know all these digits but it's just the same as 60 FPS the field order is non progressive scan the pixel aspect ratio is 1.000 zero and then the other things you want to keep that as it is then you want to go to audio make sure that you will include the audio and you just want to leave all the settings how it is right here system there's nothing much to change but then really important in the project tab at the bottom right here it says video rendering quality again put this one from the standard one to best then you want to also just give this a name for example 60 fps but i'm not going to save it because i already have a 60 fps template so once you've done that just give it a name hit this diskette icon to save the template and then what you want to do then is go ahead and hit your template that you just created and then you want to basically hit render so now that your video is finished rendering what you want to do is you want to preview it first before you upload it because people also comment to me like alex anytime i'm rendering a video it comes out really bad on youtube and then probably they will blame youtube for this but once you have finished exporting your video what you want to do is go to the folder where you have located your rendered file for example right here i named the intro obviously intro but then what you want to do is you want to just preview it just double click on it open it up with a media player and then just watch the video just look at the quality make it full screen anything like that and then just play it back with the media player and look if the quality is that great and if the quality is bad and you upload it to youtube but it's already bad after you previewed it it's not the fault of youtube so the last thing i also want to mention is anytime people publish a video on youtube and if it's 1080p or 720p or even 4k youtube needs to process that it's not going to be you know the, the the second after it's been public it's not going to be the full quality youtube needs to post that on their servers and that's why it takes maybe i don't know 10 to 15 minutes until it's the quality that you just render it out so if you say alex i just finished uploading a video the video is live on youtube i just you know i'm gonna check it in about 30 seconds how the video is doing and the quality isn't that great it's not a problem guys because the video will always end up looking on youtube how you rendered it so, so if you finished rendering a video it is really important to just if you published it on YouTube, just give it a little bit more time to, you know, process and then it's going to be 1080p. So guys, so these are the tips to get the best quality out of your videos. That's all I have for you guys today. So I'll catch you guys tomorrow. <laughs>